What's happening everyone and this time let's take a look at how you can make and create a ringtone for your iPhone on your Mac or on your PC. Let's begin with this video right now. Okay, so at first you have to keep in mind that uh, this is sort of like a temporary solution because as you know the iTunes is over right now and is just going to be discontinued very soon and you just won't be able to use it simply because it's just not possible to use it in such a way that it was possible in the past or it just really doesn't make any sense to have it right now but we can still use it to create our ringtone of course if you want to have a ringtone you can simply go ahead and buy it but I suppose that you want a ringtone that is simply not present in the iTunes or you simply want to have like your own mp3, some sort of your sound that you can't find here and buy it. So I'm gonna show you how you can create your own one for free using an mp3 file. Okay, so I have just located one file from the no copyright music on the YouTube channel. So you can see this is what we have right now. This is the this is the song that I'm gonna be using in order to create my ringtone. So at first you have to make sure that you know from which second you want the ringtone to start. So let's say I want to use it from the 15th second. Okay, I can move on to iTunes right now. Okay, so open up iTunes and click Command and O or Control O if you are using Windows and this is going to make this window pop up and here you have to locate the file that you want to use as your ringtone so this is this one right here and you simply add it to your iTunes library okay so you can see this is the song that we have just added click right click on it and click on song info and here you have to click on the options let me zoom it in for you so you can see it and we have the start and the finish I said that I wanted to I want to start it at 15 seconds and I want to add it usually the normal time is like 40 seconds on or 50 for a ringtone So let's go ahead and make it about like one minute and five seconds. Okay, so this, sh this should be it. I clicked enter or okay. And now we have nothing really changed, nothing, no visible changes right now. So right now make sure that this file is actually selected and click on the file section. Now go over to the convert section and create AAC version. You have to click on that and you can actually see that I already have two versions of the very same song. One has 50 seconds and one has 2 minutes and 56 seconds. So click on the one that is smaller, the one that you have adjusted the length and the beginning and the ending. Cl right click on it once again and click on show in finder. So this is what you're going to click and right now this this one and this highlighted one is the one that we have created so what you have to do now is simply click on it just so it is actually selected and hit enter on your keyboard you're going to come up with this and you just have the option to rename it you can rename it as long as you want but one thing that you have to make sure is that here at the ending of the word you can see that we have M for A and you have to delete the A and the ending and simply type in R. So we have M for R file and hit enter. It's just going to ask you if you are really sure that if you just want to use it and you're gonna have to click use M for R. And this is everything what you needed to do. So now what you have to do is to connect your iPhone to the computer. I know that with this kind of MacBook, it may be a little bit more difficult. You're going to have to use some sort of third party adapters and accessories, but I guess that you will eventually be able to do it. So make sure you hit continue. Everything has to be set up. You know, everything is going to work just like you would normally connect it to an iTunes. Okay, so you're gonna have to wait until everything is completed. You're gonna have to enter the passcode. This is everything usual stuff. But let me get to the actual point of this video and what you have to do in order to get the ringtone here. So here you can see that we have the phone here and you have to click on not the music section but the tones section because we just wanted to create the, the ringtone and not a music track because we have that already but we have this. So right now all you have to do is to simply drag 
this newly created file into the tones section so you will simply copy it to this section but one very very important thing that i forgot in the beginning is that uh, the duration of the clip of uh, the ringtone is set to be max as 40 seconds so you're not able to go any further and i will simply put it into in the beginning in, of the video as well but you're not allowed to create any kind of longer ringtone than 40 seconds this is how it works and you're just not allowed to go anywhere beyond it but right now you can see that if i go to the settings on my iphone you're going to notice that i have a couple of new ringtones that i have just created on my Mac, on my computer, then I moved them right here and you can see that I can use them and everything is working just the way I wanted it to work so I can use a ringtone that I want. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you liked it and for more content like this make sure to stay tuned for future videos and, and see you guys later, have a nice day, peace out.